Good morning, everyone. I can report 22 new cases overnight, 14 of them linked to current exposure sites uh, or identified close contacts, uh, eight still under investigation. Disappointingly, only two of the 22 were in quarantine during their entire infectious period. At least 13 spent part of their infectious period in the community uh, and the balance are still under investigation. We have 10 people in ACT hospitals, two in intensive care, so a reduction from yesterday's number, with one of our intensive care patients still requiring ventilation. Yesterday was a strong day for testing across the Territory with 3,721 tests conducted, giving us a very good level of surveillance of where the virus is in our community. But as always, if you have any symptoms, please come forward for testing. If you've been in any of the exposure sites during the identified times, please come forward for testing. Today we indicated we would provide uh, the path forward for the ACT. Based on the public health risk that remains for the Territory and what we are seeing in our region, uh, including uh, the recent uh, change to the situation uh, in the Yass Valley Council, the Chief Health Officer has recommended to the Government that the ACT lockdown should be extended for a four-week period until Friday the 15th of October. There will be some minor amendments to the public health directions that will come into effect this weekend. These changes will allow for increased COVID safe small business activity in areas such as contactless click and collect uh, and online delivery, limited private appointment real estate inspections and additional outdoor activity including social golf and tennis. A midpoint review uh, of the public health directions will be conducted in two weeks' time. So with this announcement, our priority over the next four weeks is to vaccinate as many people as possible. During this period, nearly 50,000 Canberrans will receive their first vaccination dose at an ACT government mass vaccination clinic. 35,000 people will receive their second dose and become fully vaccinated. Tens of thousands more will receive their first uh, or second doses through GPs and pharmacists. Higher levels of vaccination will support a safer pathway forward for the Territory. Especially with the virus still spreading in our community and increasingly across the Canberra region. As the nation reaches the vaccination thresholds outlined in the National Plan to transition Australia's COVID-19 response, we will be in a position to support the gradual easing of restrictions in the ACT. Based on the current vaccination trajectories, the nation is anticipated to reach 70 and 80% effective vaccination milestones in mid-October and early to mid-November. This will be driven by the strong vaccination program in New South Wales, Victoria and the ACT, which combined comprise 60% of the national population. Now this next month is a period of uncertainty and the next few weeks will be challenging. What we are certain of though is that a highly vaccinated Canberra is a safer Canberra. This is the safest path forward and it will lead to a safer Christmas, a safer summer day holiday period and a safer 2022.